I'm Nur Arifa. I'm going to talk about fluid mechanics project. The question is, as, as a young engineer, you are required to prepare a layout of pipeline lines from product streams of distillation column to the storage tank. Both streams may include a pump unit. Identify the type of pipe, diameter, fittings, connections of the streams as well as pump location. In addition, the piping system must include the pressure drop over the entire piping system and the estimation of the pumping power required by assuming an appropriate pump efficiency. Moving on to the characteristics of pipe. Material chosen is carbon steel. This is because based on the chemical compatibility chart, xylene, toluene and benzene have excellent compatibility with carbon steel pipe which means they don't react. Roughness of the pipe is 0.02 to 0.05 mm and we assume it to be 0.03 mm. Diameter were based on the scale 40 steel pipe. We pick the 4 inches pipe which its inner diameter is 4.26 inches equals to 0.1083 m and its outer diameter will be 4.50 inches equals to 0.1143 m. The reason this diameter of pipe were chosen is because the velocity of fluid flow will not be too high nor too low. If smaller di diameter of pipe is used, the velocity of fluid will be too high, the pipe will corrode faster which then increases the cost for maintenance. If larger diameter pipe is used, the velocity of fluid will be too low and the cost of mistonic it will be very high although the friction loss of the streams is reduced. For valves, we install two types of valves. First is, first is the check valve. The function is to prevent backflow of fluid. It is installed on the pipe near the storage tank. For the globe valves, the function is as a complete shed of flow and regulating flow. Two of the globe valves are installed in every pipe. Location is at the beginning and end of the pipe. Based on the piping layout design, pipe length for the grey pipe is assumed to be 75 meter, purple pipe is 24 meter, green pipe is 75 meter, orange pipe is 70 meter. Fittings we use is 90 degree standard elbows. Grey pipe is you require five. Purple pipe will require three. Green pipe will require five. Orange pipe will require three of the 90 degree standard elbows. Next, I will talk about the pump. In our design, the type of pump that we will assume is a centrifugal pump. This is because according to the online article, one of the typical applications of centrifugal pump is being installed in the piping system of distillation process. For the efficiency of the pump, it has the range of 75 to 80 percent, so we assume it to be 80 percent. Besides that, the centrifugal pump is being connected with the bottom pipe on the ground and located near the distillation column in order to ensure sufficient suction pressure of the pump. Then for the storage tank, the type they will use is called as the internal floating roof tank. It has a fixed roof at the top of the tank and a floating roof inside the tank. The internal floating roof tank is an environment-friendly and economical storage tank. Besides that, the internal floating roof floats on the liquid surface to ensure that there is no evaporation space in the liquid phase, hence reducing the evaporation loss by 85 to 90 percent. In addition, the floating roof can prevent the primary liquid stored in the tank being exposed to the inertial source, therefore minimizing the degree of fire risk. For the assumptions of storage tank, we have three tanks in total in our design, and all tanks are made of stainless steel. Moreover, we assume the high inner diameter of the tanks to be 20.7 meters and 39.006 meters respectively. All storage tanks are located 3 meters from the ground and have a pressure of 0.76 kilo. Hi, I'm Abed Nga. I'm going to talk about the design. Let's have a look at the top of the first distillation column, which is the grey pipe, which contains the benzene and toluene product. When the product moves up to the column and as it exits, the top of the unit is coloured by a condenser. The condensed liquid is stored in the holding vessel known as the reflux drum. The condensed liquid that removed from the system is known as the distillate or top product. It will flow to the first storage tank with mass flow rate 198.99 kg per second. The length of the grey pipe was 75 meter. At the bottom of the first distillation column, we have the purple pipe which contains benzene, toluene, and xylene product. The product in the purple pipe will be fed to the second distillation column. The length of the purple pipe was 24 meter. At the top of the second distillation column, which is the green pipe which contains benzene and toluene product. When the product moves up the column and exit the top of the of unit, it is cooled by a condenser. Then, product will be stored in the reflux drum. After that, the product will flow to the second storage tank with mass flow rate. 299.03 kg per second. The length of the green pipe is 75 meters, same as the grey pipe. At the bottom of the second distillation column, which is the orange pipe, which contains toluene and xylene products, the product will be flowed to the third storage tank with mass flow rate 501.99 kg per second. The length of the orange pipe is 70 meters. As we see in the diagram, every pipe is connected with distillation column and storage tank has two growth valve, one triple pump, and one check pump.
Hi, my name is Sashi Verma and I will explain about the concept. First of all, fluid mechanics is a branch of physics that studies fluids and the forces on them. It is divided into two types which are fluid statistics which is about the study of fluid at rest and fluid dynamics which is the study of the effect forces on fluid motion. For these questions, Bernoulli's principle is used for pipeline system. This is because Bernoulli's equation is equivalent to a constant at all points along a pipe streamline. We can compare two points on a streamline. The turbine will be eliminated from the equation as turbines are to generate energy using kinetic energy and the project is to transfer the substances. The final equation after simplifying is shown below. The assumptions made are steady flow operation and incompressible fluid. Velocity in storage V2 is negligible as the area is large. Force turbine is negligible as there is no turbine. Based on the diagram, the inner diameter is 0.1083 m, reference is 0.05 mm, sudden enlargement is 1 and sudden contraction is 0.2 for each pipe. Pump efficiency is 80% and change in pressure is 0.2478 atm. It will be constant for all three pipes. Also, the values of dynamic viscosity of each component are taken based on the nearest temperature to the pipe. Let's have a look on a grey pipe. The assumptions of values for the details of pipe, pump, density and viscosity are made as above. First step is to find the density of the benzene and toluene mixture in which we get 824.88 kg per meter cube by using the formula above. Secondly, the velocity can be determined through dividing the mass flow rate by the density of benzene and toluene mixture and the area of pipe in which we have 26.19 meter per second. Thirdly, is to find the dynamic viscosity of the benzene and toluene mixture which is 3.393 times 10 to the power of negative 4 kg per meter second. To determine the Reynolds number, substitute value of density velocity in the letter as well as the viscosity and we will get 6.895 times 10 to power 6 which is equivalent flow. After obtaining the friction factor of 0.004275 from the equivalent formula, we can find the total friction by adding up the friction of pipe fittings, valves, sudden expansion and contraction that lead us to a total of 10494.93 joule per kg. The unit of Pascal is converted to kg per meter second square here. To determine the work done pump, simplified Bernoulli's equation is used and the actual work done pump is obtained by dividing 10402.79 Joule the pump efficiency of 0.8. Lastly, the power of 2587.56 kW can be determined by multiplying the mass flow rate with the actual work done. While for the grip part, it has the same length and number of fittings and valves as well as the methods are the same as the grain pipe. The value of velocity is 39.58 meter per second. Reynolds number is 1.397 times 10 to the power of 7 in which is also a total low operation. The total friction of it is 23953.09 J per kg and the work pump is 23860.7 J. By multiplying 299.02 kg per second with 29825.97 J, which is the actual work done on pump, 8918.56 kW of power is consumed. Orange pipe differs than the previous two pipes as it is water product stream, so its pipe length is shorter with lesser number of fittings. The velocity of it is 17.66 m per second, which is higher than the previous two pipes, and the Reynolds number of it is 2.452 times 10 to the power of 7, which is still double the flow. The friction factor is determined as 0.004-2639 and the total friction obtained is 706584.44 Joule per kg. The difference in elevation is negative 23.7 and the actual length of the pump is 88573.11 Joule after dividing with the 0.8 pump efficiency. Lastly, the value of power that we got is 444.62.81 kW. As for the capacity of storage tank, we can use the formula of volume of cylinder to calculate. The total capacity obtained is 24735.63 m3. That's all for the calculation.